Hello, Warhawk. So uh, I'm just going to kind of talk you through a little bit of this document as we read through. You can kind of just click on the different videos uh, as we talk about some of what we've read. So as you read through that first page, uh, at the bottom of that first page, it talks about accomplishments, which then goes on to the next page. And I really want you to focus here on these accomplishments because this is it's one of the things he's known for. Andrew Jackson is known for is being uh, a hero of the common man. And uh, part of this is is has really nothing to do with him in that he just comes about um, to leadership during this era and during this time in American history when uh, more and more people have a a voice in their government. They don't longer have to have property to vote. And so he kind of benefits from it. Uh, so if we read where it says accomplishments, it says as a proponent of the common man, Jackson's time as president marked a profound change as it signaled the opening of great economic and political opportunities beyond a small aristocratic class. In other words, before him, there was really only a few number of people that were likely to ever um, be able to get any kind of votes or run for um, big office like the presidency. Uh, and so be, be, mostly because very so few people actually had the right to vote because they had you had to own property to vote. Uh, and so this this shift that happens, and then at the same time, the shift that is happening from a caucus where kind of the big wealthy leaders of the party get to choose who is running for president to a nominating convention where the people are voting, uh, the people of that party are voting, that, those, that's, those switches, one from caucus to nominating convention and two, changing the rights of who can vote, we see a change happening where people like Andrew Jackson that don't come from money uh, and the aristocracy can be elected. And so he's seen as the hero of that. Um, Jacksonian democracy, uh, it says there, dement the political power in the country more closely resembled the growing population of the United States. And Jackson did not really invent the wave of populism he rode upon. But as president who rose from very humble circumstances, he exemplified it. So that's what I was talking about earlier. He didn't like make Jacksonian democracy. He didn't make this, po he, he's not the one that passed the law that let more people vote. He is the beneficiary of that. So those changes are happening within state to state to state. And he result, and as a result of that, he gets elected because they people see him as like him, as like themselves. They see a lot of themselves in him. He's uh, he he doesn't you know he doesn't talk like an aristocrat. He they see that he has a temper. He gets upset about things. They know that hey I can relate to that. I get upset about things that are going on, um, and he's a war hero. Um, time and time again, multiple battles, he's been victorious and is a war hero. And so um, that's kind of why he is seen as the hero of the common man.